Welcome back to Art Book Reviews. This is episode 57, and today we've finally got hands on another big art book. This one is of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is another one that I'm borrowing. I haven't actually played this game. Uh, the only Xenoblade game that I actually paid, played for, uh, was the Chronicles X. I didn't finish that, made um, I don't believe it's much of an art book for that. It's like a little one. Uh, so I'm borrowing this one, but it'd be interesting to show what it is. From what I've found online, it um, averages around £40. So not too bad price for an art book, which is... Ooh. Yeah, about 220 pages. Quite a good price. Uh, this is only a tier 2, though. As it is only just a picture book of concept art, basically. So, take it as you're not going to learn any kind of design things from this. But, if you appreciate the game, you may appreciate the art. So, let's have a quick look through it. See what you get in it. So, let's start off at the beginning. We've got the characters. You know, you've got the finalised version of them in sketch format and in base colour. And that's the final version there. Um, so, of course, with certain bits, the helmet there. I do like having nice size versions of all the different types of uh, emotions. I'm not sure quite well, uh, emo how to put it, very vivid emotions are quite good. Motocons can be a bit basic on some uh, games, but it's nice to see him pushing that size. Although I would have liked to have seen a more of a, um, early concepts for, I believe it's Rex. Um, just seeing how they got to the point, you know, we, we originally had this idea, we changed it, this idea. Always I think that's quite important with an art book, when you've got a protagonist, but as you can see, we only get a couple of pages for these characters. I mean, it's nice as it is, um, just would have preferred a bit more. Um, bits of information about it. Like I said, the only thing I know about this is the uh, the ending for the third game. Because people put it online. Ooh. That uh, second wanted poster is a bit... Uh, now that's a bit scary. Ooh, dear. Well, I'll make that person a dark color, that's for certain. So, let's see what else we got. Is it just... I think there's a lot of uh, characters here. Yeah, it's just a lot, a lot of characters. Oh, rock. Interesting. Although I have to say, I'm not sure about this design. That's a bit of a weird. Is he fire flower at people or something? That's what it reminds me of. Old flower bags. Okay. More, more characters. A lot of characters. Nice to see. A lot of characters get in some pages because too often you get in these kind of RPG art books. You have a crap ton of characters and then you have like a little page with just loads of little tiny bits of all the NPCs. It's just like pointless to have it even in there, you know. No. Oh. As I say that, um, they kind of threw me wrong that one we have lots of tiny NPCs. Night again, like I say, it's nice to have those little characters, but you know maybe I want to see the intricate designs here, you know. At that at that size, I can't you can't make out Jack all really that. It's a little bit disappointing. More breakdown of NPCs and stuff. Oh, and some nice little art Keep kind of pictures there. Ooh. Nice to get a bit of sketch work here and there and a bit of development bits. Always nice to see. But it only seems to be a bit of a randomised here. Some enemies. Now that's quite cool. That was quite a cool design. More creatures and ship fins. 
get to location, shall we? Seeing some of the developments quite nice, although again quite a few cool looking pieces but in very small picture format which is a bit sad. But these are quite nice. Um I guess that's the problem. No matter how big of an art book you make, you always go, oh, that could be a bit nicer in a bigger format. I guess that's the issue is um unless you want to have an art book which is just big art cards. I've seen a few of them where it's just it's just A4 art cards and it's but they want so much for it and it's annoying. That's a really nice picture. Let's see if we can skim ahead a little bit here, see what else there is on offer, more cool landscapes, environmental stuff. Um, Bit of weapon design, always nice to see. Reminds me a bit of the Monster Hunter art book a little bit. And there's more iron bits, objects in the world. And literally covering everything. So I guess that's the thing is to try to put something related to every little aspect that's included. Um, which is nice in some ways, but it also means that some of the more cooler aspects that the characters ends up with not many pages. So I think if you are a fan of Xenoblade, uh, especially the second game, it's probably worth getting. Just because it's just a, nice to see all the artworks and whatnot. But if you're like me, who's more of a collector of the development style art books or just before, well, I get ones which don't like books and ones which are just for things that I really like. Um, so if you're into development ones, not good. But if you're into this game, then it's good. Based on your opinion, really. But, yeah, I think I've got nothing else to say in that one. Quite straightforward. It is a, a nice picture book. So, until next episode, goodbye.